Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for June. So this is for the month of June. This is not old energy. Okay, this is a prediction of what's to come. This is for Virgo, for what's to come. You, some people will say, oh, that's old energy. Oh, no, no. That's your wishful thinking. You know, I don't want to repeat that. Well, a lot of times people repeat things because they didn't learn from it. So let's see what we got. What do we got for Virgo? For June. What do we have for Virgo for June? What message do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June. Chemistry is a strong magnetic attraction here. You have chemistry with somebody. You absolutely do. So you got a strong magnetic attraction with somebody. Look at that. It's very powerful. There's a lot of, uh, well, can't think of a better word other than chemistry. You, you can feel it. It's, it's, it, everybody can feel it. It's like intense put it that way I feel it I feel it intensely okay so there's an intense attraction here um, interesting this is somebody that you have a lot in common with too and it's interesting because a magnet there's opposition right so there's some sort of opposition but it's it's there's so many similarities as well a lot of similarities like this is and it's funny I don't say this much and this is not old energy this is new energy this is like a mirror you take a look at their hair that's what I was looking at when I was saying this look at their hair they they're very much alike okay a lot of similarities it's like a mirror I, I really feel like it is so what do we have but I think this is a new it's a new thing let's see what do we have for Virgo oh there we go bouquet bouquet compliments from an admirer mule <laughs> someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change Dork. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. So you got something new coming in. Birth is a birth of something new. Okay, whether it's an actual physical birth of a person or it's a birth of something new. So you got the birth of something new. And there's an admirer here. Somebody that you are going to be very strongly attracted to and vice versa. But there's unwillingness to change. So there's stubbornness here. So you, there's some sort of change that is needed. So what do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo for June? Justice. Justice reversed. Now justice is reversed. Reverse is something isn't fair. There, there, there could be some legalities. Somebody is... Uh, Oh, what's the word for it uh, that I'm trying to say? It's uh, avoiding. Avoiding. Somebody's trying to avoid legalities. There could be a divorce that is needed or a split, but there's legalities that would be around it and trying to avoid it. Now, this is an injustice. Not happy with the outcome. Placing blame. There could be an argument. There could be somebody that is lying. Something that is unfair. There's some, some sort of lack of accountability here or dishonesty. Somebody may be being dishonest. Or dishonest with themselves, even. There is something that needs to change. So somebody's not telling the truth, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with oh nine of wands reverse now the nine of wands reverse is refusing to compromise this is repeating negative patterns so somebody is repeating negative patterns and this is bad karma okay so when you repeat the same patterns over and 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 over again you're going to keep going backwards and you're going to keep getting karma because you're not learning your lessons 
So this is bad luck. Okay, both of these together is bad luck because somebody is wanting their own way. They're refusing, disagreeable. There's extreme pride here. So there's definitely some pride here in regards to taking ownership to what is your truth. What is your truth anyway? Somebody's not honoring their truth and you want to know why? Because they're avoiding challenge. I want to deal with a challenge, so I'm going to lie to myself and be dishonest with myself. Or it's somebody that you're dealing with. If it's not you, it's somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody not telling the truth and they don't want to be held accountable. And they don't want to deal with a challenge. Nine of Swords. Oh my gosh. Now there's a lot of anxiety here. There's a lot of fear. Somebody is being haunted. They are. Somebody is being haunted, uh, having a hard time sleeping, being poked constantly. I feel like being poked, poked, poked. It, it's like the stress is building. It's building daily. It's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. It's because somebody's not honoring their truth. There's a strong magnetic attraction here with somebody, but I think it's being denied. It's being denied. Somebody's denying their true feelings. That's what I feel. Eight of Wands blocking. Eight of Wands reverse blocking. Blocking. Now there's also guilty, feeling guilty. Somebody may be feeling guilty for wanting to follow you at their heart, wanting this this uh you know perfect match that they are so attracted to. There's feeling guilty. Somebody's feeling guilty. Queen of Swords, you gotta protect yourself. You gotta do what's right for you. It's not about feelings, it's about it's about being real, it's about being uh genuine it's about the facts you've got to honor the facts now i'm not sure if uh somebody needs to be more assertive you need to speak up for yourself and you've got to be honest somebody needs to be honest and they're not being honest they need to speak the truth and you need to communicate the truth it's like you have the power in your hands you have the power in your hands to uh, do what's right for you but you're it's not going to be easy it's not going to be easy for some of you um you got to protect yourself you got to do what's right for you even if other people don't like it um the queen of swords is is a professional she's very smart she thinks fast she thinks on her feet she looks at things from a new perspective she does what she has to do she lets she doesn't let fear hold her back but somebody has been letting fear hold them back so you need to find your ability to Put that fear behind you and, and be honest. Somebody really needs to be honest with themselves. It's like they're blocking, because this is blocking their own truth, blocking their own happiness. Ace of blocking love. There's an opportunity for love here. Big, big, big love. I think it's a very emotional time. You're probably feeling feelings, an uh, 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 overwhelming amount of feelings for somebody. There's a lot of love to be had. Two of Cups reversed. Oh my God. So somebody is blocking their soulmate. Okay? They're blocking their soulmate. They're blocking this, this soulmate connection that they are deeply in love with. They're deeply attracted to and they know that it's their truth. But they can't move forward to it because of this injustice. There's some sort of karma here. There's bad luck because somebody's not honoring. They're not honoring their truth. They're not accepting the truth. It's because they're avoiding challenge. They don't want to deal with the challenge of divorce or the de challenge of legal issues or whatever. But there's a big, huge opportunity for love that is not going anywhere it's not going anywhere it's not moving forward because of stubbornness i'm going to show you this one again someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change are you kidding me is that a joke a lot of you are going to point the finger at somebody else right that's placing blame not my fault nothing i can do about it Bullshit. Fool. Foolish, foolish, foolish. We got somebody here that needs to step forward with blind faith. 
They need to replace that fear with faith. They need time to take a risk. It's time to be free. It's time to go your own way. Some of you, you know, take the take it, do it, leave everything behind. This is an opportunity to leave everything behind and start fresh. Like move. Some of you are thinking about it, right? You're thinking about moving. You're thinking about this big opportunity for love. You want it. It's big. It's huge. You feel it. It's so strong. It is so strong. But dealing with the challenges, boy, that's weakness, right? We got somebody here that's weak. Nine of Wands, reverse, weak. They are. We got somebody here that is weak. They can't find their mental strength with the Queen of Swords to break free. But they keep thinking about it and they got this love connection that is blocked, stalled, stopped, whatever, because of this karmic contract that is uh, holding them down, causing them so much stress and anxiety and worry. So I feel like in June, you are going to see things from a new perspective, okay? Because that is, the Queen of Swords is a new perspective. That is get, taking on, you know, coming up with a new idea, taking a new approach, uh, being assertive, doing what's right for you. Some of you may be filing for divorce. You may be moving because you got this big opportunity for love that is undeniable, Somebody is in a contract right now, a connection, a partnership that is not compatible. There's arguing, there's disharmony, there's uh, probably going to be a breakup, there's there's uh, dominance, there's, there could be some abuse, whatever. Somebody is in a partnership that isn't love. And there's another opportunity for love here. That's all there is to it. That is the truth. But you're going to have to move forward with faith. So I think in June, somebody's going to going, going to be moving forward, okay? After they have been feeling guilty, you know, feeling guilty, blocking what they know, blocking what they, they know they need to do, blocking their intuition, you know, letting fear and worry keep them where they're at. So I, but I do feel like in June, somebody's going to um, make a decision to honor their truth. Somebody has been keeping quiet for quite a while, not saying anything, but... I feel like it's over. I feel like that 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 it's over. It's like, uh, I mean, the Ten of Swords reversed is is uh, freedom, liberation, breaking free from a dead end, something that has been hurting you. And you, somebody may be doing that out of self love because the Ace of Cups can be self love. It's definitely an intense emotional time. Because some sort of truth is going to come out, some sort of communication, some sort of, I got to, I, I got to do this. You know what I mean? The queen of swords is like, I got to do this. Get out of my way. This is, you made your bed. Now you got to lie in it. Somebody has done something so bad. Now I don't know if it's your partner or, or who it is. Maybe they cheated or maybe you have, or somebody has done. So it's like the worst has happened in this partnership and now it's time to go. With that, with that fool card. This is an opportunity to start fresh someplace else and leave all this baggage behind. So I believe that somebody is moving. They're starting over someplace else. There's a lot of guilt here. Feeling guilty. Feeling guilty of, of uh, not wanting to be in this situation anymore. You gotta let go of the guilt. Now, the Six of Wands is victory. Victory after dealing with the storm, after dealing with the war zone, after being in the war zone. This is coming out on top, being the winner. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Yeah, it may be a war zone for a minute or you may go through a challenge, but you're going to come out on top. You're going to come out alive. You're going to survive and you're going to be free. So this is headed towards victory after a conflict. Yes, there's going to be a conflict. There is. You're probably going to need to defend yourself. You're going to need to protect yourself because there's going to be some words that are said with another person that um, is going to be challenging. There's going to be some challenges that you are experiencing that... Um, 
force a change per se. This eight, there could be some jealousy here too. Somebody may be jealous. Some there could be some jealousy issues that spark up uh, some sort of situation where you know brings about a, a massive uh, challenge where you need to because this is defense. Somebody may need to defend themselves. You know, somebody's going to be defending themselves. Um, and I think breaking free, we have freedom here. Seriously, we have freedom. These are both freedom. Freedom from a partnership that is not compatible. Because there's another opportunity for love. There really is another opportunity. It's huge. With somebody that you are deeply this is your mirror. This is a soulmate. So you have a soulmate here. But the only way to get to that soulmate is to honor your truth and be honest with yourself. Stop blocking the truth. Stop blocking your forward movement. Face the storm. Face the trial. Face the war. Do whatever you got to do. You're going to get through it. You'll be stronger for it in the end. Face your fears. Nine of swords. Face your fears. That's what it is. It's anxiety. It's fears. It's regrets. Guilty. Feeling guilty. Feeling regretful. Yeah, you may yeah, you feel even more regretful if you get to your judgment day and you look back and you see that you wasted your life on this shit. So anyway, you've got a new beginning here. You have a, this is a new beginning. A new beginning in love. With somebody that you are perfect. You guys are perfect. This is your mirror. This is your match. This person will protect you. This person is a warrior. This person has also fought hard. This person has fought hard to get where they're, they are at. So I think that you have been uh, denying an opportunity for love. But now you see it. And you want it. It's very clear. You're being given an offer, opportunity for love. This opportunity for love can break you free from this incompatible partnership that you feel guilty for leaving. My advice is to follow your heart and be honest with yourself. You got somebody here that is very strong. If you are the masculine watching this, you you have a blonde by the looks of things. Doesn't have to be, but whoever this woman is, um, she is very witty. She's very witty. She has a sense of humor. She's smart. She's intelligent. She thinks fast. She moves fast. If you're the woman, this is you. This is somebody who um, is very honorable. Uh, cut to the chase. You know, this is what it is. Uh, take me or leave me. Fun. A lot of fun. This 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 feminine is a lot of fun. Um, she's very powerful. She's a very powerful individual. Um, she's truthful and she's honest. If you are the masculine watching this, that's 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 this woman. If you are the if you are the feminine watching this, you have somebody that is very strong. This person is strong. This person has been through a, a difficult situation already. Um, this person, this masculine is very noble, very hard, not, not a quitter is definitely not a quitter, um, is very highly respected, very highly respected in his community. If you are the feminine, this person is respectable. This person will not hurt you. This person has been hurt. This person has fought a good fight and, and is looking for something, um, just wants to settle down. This person just wants to settle down. He's sick of sick of it. He's sick of the competing, sick of the competition, sick of playing games. Is ready. Is ready to settle down. So if you're the feminine, you got somebody here that is your savior. Okay, this is your savior. The savior. This guy is looking for somebody to settle down with. Could be an Aries. Could be an Aries. Uh, could be a Leo, Sagittarius. Could be Tor Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know why I said that. I don't see it here, but it came out of my mouth. Um, it could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Um, we, yeah, just taking a look around here. There's a need or a, a need to face your demons. Okay. A need to face your demons and close this chapter of your life. They're block. Somebody is blocking their own happiness. They're blocking their own success by not wanting to deal with the challenge, which is the war zone. Okay. The nine of wands, the wounded warrior. And this is, so yeah, we got somebody here that doesn't want to. trying to protect themselves from getting hurt 
You're going to get hurt throughout life. It's these hurts and these pains and these trials that build your character. So anyway, um, I see a new beginning here where you're starting fresh with somebody that is more honorable than the last one. Good luck.